on the north wall of the passage leading from the outer hall of his tomb into the inner shrine, the priest Neferhotep is shown seated at a table piled high with food offerings. His wife sits at his side, and in front of him squats a harper. The words which he sings to the accompaniment of his harp are engraved above the group. The first part of the song, which contains its chief burden, runs as follows. How reposed is the righteous Lord. The kindly fate had come to pass. Bodies pass away since the time of the God. New generations come in their place. Ra shows himself at dawn. Atum goes to rest in the western mountain. Men beget, women conceive. Every nostril breathes the air. Dawn comes and their children have gone to their tombs. Make holiday, O priest. Put incense and fine oil together to thy nostrils and garlands of lotus and remt flowers upon thy breast, while thy sister, whom thou lovest, sits at thy side. Put song and music before thee, cast all evil behind thee. Bethink thee of joys till that day has come of landing, at the land that loveth silence, where the heart of the son whom he loves does not weary. Make holiday, Neferhotep the justified. Thou good priest, pure of hands, I have heard all that happened to thee. Their buildings have crumbled, their dwellings are no more. They are as if they had never come into being since the time of the God. How repose is the righteous Lord. The kindly fate has come to pass. Bodies pass away since the time of the God. New generations come in their place. Ra shows himself at dawn. Autumn goes to rest in the western mountain. Men beget, women conceive, every nostril Dawn comes, and their children have gone to their tombs. Make holiday, O oh priest. Put incense and fine oils together to thy nostrils. And garlands of lotus and rammed flowers upon thy breast.
while thy sister whom thou lovest sits at thy side. Put song and music before thee. Cast all evil behind thee. Bethink thee of joys till that day has come of landing. At the land that loveth silence Where the heart of the son whom he loves Does not weary Make holiday never hotel to justify Thou good priest, pure of hands, I have heard all that has happened to thee. Their buildings have crumbled, their dwellings are no more. They are as if had not come into being since the time of the God.